Flooding in Accra has been a persistent issue for years, causing displacement, property destruction and waste spread. Government intervention is needed to manage flooding by improving buildings, drainage and infrastructure, as the lack of such infrastructure leaves communities vulnerable to the rainy season's ravages. The Greater Accra Resilient and Integrated Project is aimed at improving flood risk and solid waste management in flood-prone, low-income communities. As the rainy season approaches, there are concerns about the progress of work. The project is not moving as quickly as we had all initially uh, expected right from the project design stage. And this has been due to a number of factors. Uh, some of those factors include um, the review processes and mechanisms that were put in the, uh, in, in the, in the initial framework that required about a two-step uh, review for every work before uh, it is um, executed. Uh, the fact that um, compensation even for project affected persons were not initially envisaged in the funding arrangements that were made. Works and Housing Minister Kujo Point Krum assures the public that the bottlenecks are being promptly addressed. We are pleased at the efforts to resolve these bottlenecks. Number one, to amend the review process to make it concurrent instead of uh, successive so that it is faster to do the reviews and to give the contractors permission to do the various phases of the work that is um, ahead of them. We are also pleased that the amendments have been made so that now some compensation can be made available to the project affected persons. I think as you know it's before parliament we are um, working on it. We are hopeful that sometime sooner than later parliament will approve it. Coordinator of the Garrett project Dr. Kujohene Safo stated that work was progressing steadily. Consultants have been commissioned and are undertaking various designs uh, in order that we can provide some engineering solutions to the perennial flooding that afflicts the other catchment. Um, since last year, contracts have been awarded for a number of the interventions. The success of these efforts is crucial for protecting vulnerable communities and minimizing the impact of future floods.